So is buying the 2024 Toyota Tacoma a stupid idea? Is there really something wrong with that truck? Did Toyota screw up by changing the new Tacoma? You know, recently I went, I took my first test drive in one, the first one I'd ever seen in person actually. It was a TRD Sport and I gotta say, I didn't really see anything that wrong with it. But let's go over, first of all, the appearance of it. You know, judging by the comments on my channel and comments that I've seen everywhere else, and that's what this whole video is based upon, what you guys think, um, it seems to be split about 50-50. Some people love it, some people don't like it, and some people are just, eh, it doesn't really matter either way. Me, I kind of lean a little bit over the 50-50 mark. I mean, I like it. I think I might like the looks of the previous version, what we're in right now, a little bit better, but not hugely more. I mean, it is a pretty good looking truck. And I recently saw a rendering, might have actually been an actual truck where somebody had put bigger tires on it and some wheels with an offset to kind of poke those tires out a little bit. It looked pretty darn good. I was uh, pretty happy with that. And I think if or when I get one, I'll probably shoot for the same kind of look. Uh, it was pretty darn sharp. The body itself, not too bad looking either, particularly with that setup. So I think from an appearance standpoint, it's not too bad. Now, let's talk about the interior since we're talking about appearance. One thing that I did notice, it looked a little, I don't know, cartoonish, uh, plasticky. I don't know what the right word for it is. It looked, should I say cheap? Cheaper, maybe a little bit cheaper than what our current version looks. I think some of the plastics that they've used and the way they have it kind of wrapped around and set up on the infotainment screen looks a little bit cheaper, if I'm being honest. Is it enough to keep me from liking it? Not really, I don't think so, but I can't say that I like it better than the current version. The gauge cluster, eh, it's okay too. It's all digital LED. I like that kind of a look. I think they could have gone a little bit further with it even and made it a little more advanced, futuristic looking maybe, because let's be honest, we're going to have the 2024 or fourth generation version of the Tacoma for a while. I mean, Toyota doesn't change very frequently, so probably for anywhere from six to 10 years, probably closer to the 10 year mark. So that's kind of what we're going to get. They'll tweak it a little bit here and there, I'm sure, but nonetheless. Now, comfort wise, is it a no-go? Is it stupid to buy? I would say not. This is the one area that I think they really did excel. The seats were very comfortable. I didn't have that kind of thigh hanging over the edge sensation that I have in the third gen without the seat jackers. I was able to get enough support in that truck. It felt good. No issues with that. I think it's a definite improvement when it comes to the 2024. Uh, materials, things like that, as far as touch, and I'm really speaking about the seats, I guess, and the arm rails and stuff over on the door, we're all just fine. No better, no worse when it comes to how things feel, you know, from a tactile sense inside the new Tacoma. Um, but we gotta talk about ride quality because they far exceed the current Tacoma when it comes to ride quality. That truck was smooth and maybe it was the Sport. You know, they have different setups for the Sport, the Pro, the TRD off-road, but I have to say the Sport felt really good. Nice and comfortable, nice and smooth. Going over the bumps and stuff, it almost felt like it was gliding. That's kind of the sensation I got. I really did like that. Again, a definite improvement over the 2023 or the third generation, in my opinion. Not stupid to buy it for that reason. Let's talk about power. You know, I've been going on and on about the four cylinder turbo. Is it gonna be any good? Is it gonna be quicker? Is it gonna be slow? I was impressed. It felt good, really smooth once again, and great from the takeoff, and good power once you were rolling. You know, I was on the freeway, I hit the gas, and it jumped right up. 
That's probably because of the turbo. It felt really, really nice. Now, part of that might be the new eight-speed transmission, or the eight-speed, I don't know if it's new, but the eight-speed transmission paired with that engine setup. Really did shift well. I think it's gonna satisfy all of the naysayers out there that hate the current transmission in the Tacoma. I think that's a definite improvement, and if that's something that bothers you with the current gen, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised when you drive that truck. Nice and smooth. And that's what I would say overall about the whole, the whole truck. It was smooth. Everything was smooth about it. From its appearance, to its power, to its comfort. So do I think it's a stupid idea, or maybe not a good idea, to buy the fourth generation Tacoma? I would say not. And I was skeptical. You know, in listening and, and watching all the videos out there, you know, the talking heads, uh, I was a bit skeptical about it. I thought, you know, they can't possibly make it better than the current generation. But I was wrong in two areas. It is better when it comes to seat position, ride quality, I'm going to lump that into one, and power. Now, the biggest thing that people are complaining about, it's funny, we have to pick and choose, right? Is the longevity and the quality of it. Are there going to be problems with it? I'm sure there's going to be things that creep up, right? I mean, it's inevitable. Until the truck is out there in the real world and you and I are driving that truck, putting it through, it, putting it through its paces, I'm sure there's going to be some hiccups, some issues, maybe even some TSBs and possibly even a recall, who knows? I mean, it is a brand new setup, right? And until they get it out in the world and everything is meshing together, we can't be positive that nothing is going to happen. The only thing we can rely on, I suppose, is that it is Toyota. They take care of things when they go wrong, but all manufacturers do. I mean, you can't compete and put a vehicle out if you don't stand behind it and fix things when they crop up, as I'm sure Toyota is going to do. I really have no fear about that whatsoever. So overall, no, I don't think it's a stupid move. I think it's an awesome truck. Should you run right out and trade your third gen? Well, not really. I mean, if you don't need a new truck, you know, the third gen's going to last for I don't know, 250, 300, 500,000 miles, particularly if you haven't already paid for. There's just not enough, I don't think, to justify dumping a perfectly good third gen, unless you're like me and you know you got a, something wrong in the head, uh, to go ahead and get it. Unless the transmission in it drives you nuts and you want that extra power and you've just got to have the latest and greatest. There's nothing wrong with that. If you can afford it and you've got the money, your money. Do what you want to do. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you've driven one, I know it's early yet. They aren't all over the country in numbers, but if you're one of the ones, the few, maybe the many soon, who have driven one, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it, particularly compared to the outgoing third generation. I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.